Now for this next part, we've actually got to state the actual significance of this test. And what we had before was what was called the nominal significance level, which was 5%. But to work out the actual significance level, we're looking for the probabilities of being less than this lower critical value, which we worked out in the previous part to be 2 added to the probability of being above this upper critical value, which we worked out again in the previous part as being 11. So in order to do this, let's just say that the actual, okay, let's just get that to work, actual significance level, okay, is going to equal the probability of x being less than or equal to 2, plus the probability that x is going to be greater than or equal to 11. Assuming that HO is true, that is we use p equals 0.3. And probability that x is less than or equal to 2, well that's going to be fairly straightforward. We can read it immediately from the tables here. When it comes to the probability x is greater than or equal to 11, we think of this as 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 10. So we can take our values from the table. x being less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.0355. And then we've got plus 1 minus, and the probability that x is less than or equal to 10 was this value here, 0.9829. And if you work this out, you end up with 0.0526. And you could call that a percentage if you like. That's just over 5%. It's 5.26%. So clearly not our actual, well, what we had, I nearly said actual significance level. It's not our nominal significance level, which was 5%. It turns out that the actual level then is just a little bit more, 5.26. Okay, well, I hope that's given you some idea then on that part.